Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video as always. Thank you so, so much for choosing me over and over again. This time around, we're going to be doing an unpopular opinions and I'm going with your opinions because you've been hammering at me to do an unpopular opinions friendship edition. So I said, okay, it's fine. Me, I'm tired of looking at things. So you guys share with me what some of your unpopular opinions are when it comes to having friends and being with friends and all of that. So we're gonna get into it. We're not even gonna waste time because I need to go into Instagram and <sighs> I'm already holding my breath. I'm scared. So let's get into it, okay? If you hear the lawn, it ain't none of my fault. It be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes, okay? Um, the first lady says they don't need to know everything about you. Boom. You see the friends that feel like they need to know each and every single thing that is happening about you are very much unfair. Why? Why? What business is it of yours to know all my secrets and my endeavors and my information? Just let me be and let me share whatever it is that I want to share with you. Why all endeavor? Hmm? Trust me, this is a very much alcoholic drink. Mm. It's a gin mixed with a grapefruit juice, my darling. Why Olinda Bahakana? Why do you want to know my business? Why do you want to know my stories? Why do you want to know my endeavors? Don't be that person. No, don't don't do that. You don't have to update them on every development in your life. You can just have some moments to yourself. And I think that there's certain friends who don't get this. I feel like okay. I can't do this right now. I'm going to have to put you guys on pause because the garden guys are in my yard right now and it's going to be quite loud. So I'm going to have to see you guys a little bit later. Okay. Uh, we're back, chaps. I had to take a long break, about an hour long break because the brothers were cutting the grass. So I'm back now and we're going to continue. This lady says, friendships deserve the same amount of grace that is given to romantic relationships. I couldn't agree more. I feel like, you know, friends tend to be harder on each other than they are to their partners. And I've said this many, many, many times. And it's because I feel that friends think that to some degree they are entitled to you and your time and your energy and your everything and that they deserve more of your time than a partner does and whatever. And you need to exercise a lot more grace. I actually couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't agree more with this because cha, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm just like, mm hmm yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, let's, uh, ma'am, ma'am, yes. Friends that think they should have access to everything that is happening in your life, but, so this is the first thing that we talked about. Obviously, it seems like a lot of you seem to have friends who feel like they need the, the access to your life in that way, which is quite problematic. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I find that very, very problematic because your friends shouldn't be wanting access to you like that. Kibo mambona. Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. Mona kibo ma. Eh, eh. And then, you know, a lot of the time, the friends that do want access to your life in that manner actually don't reciprocate the same behavior. They want to be able to have their personal moment they need to be able they want to be able to have their personal time no i'm going through something i don't want to talk about it right now oh okay cool but then if you are going to go through the very same thing or tell them the very same thing and say to them or no i'm going through something right now i don't want to talk about it they're like ah how can is there anything i can do and they just don't lay off until you have to say bruh just let me be okay Bajwa. My unpopular opinion is that uh, on friendship is that you have to leave your man for your friends. Ah! Yeah. What? Give you. Mm -mm. No. And, uh, what? You. <laughs> I love being within the curls, child. I love being within my, my, my space, my personal space with my person. Why am I leaving being with him so that I can go be with my friends? Come on, Kafi. No, 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 no. You arrange things for different times. Different times with your friends, different times with your mates. 
Okay, the only person that I would leave my mans for is if there's an emergency at home regarding one of my family members. And I mean one of my immediate family members. Okay, that's it. But just because my friends are partying and whatever and they're calling me, how you with your man? How king? How you always with him? Whatever, and then. What business of that is yours? And then what? And what it is about it that it is a problem? Hey, hey, yo, you see, is that thing that I've been telling you or entitlement, my darling? If we are friends, we don't have to merge our individual friends. Okay, okay. Um, I definitely agree with that sentiment. I do agree with that sentiment, but I have a bone to pick with you on that because I, I, I recently experienced something similar to this where I feel, here's the thing, right? If you are connected by me, right? So we've got, <laughs> I was going to say Sintaulin. So we've got Dineo, this side, and we've got Prue, this side. Prue and Dineo know each other through me. I'm the common denominator. Yes, Prue and Dineo are not friends. I understand that and I don't expect them to be. However, I do expect them to be cordial with one another because they're going to find themselves in many, many different spaces where I'm hosting something or I'm being asked to speak at an event and I invite all my friends or whatever, whatever. And then if they develop a friendship from that, that's great. But I would never expect Dineo to randomly call Prue and then tell Prue something. And then I'm just like, which one? You know what I'm saying? But, but what you're not going to do is be disrespectful to people who are cordial with you or be funny or feel entitled or whatever. This is where I tend to draw the line because friends seem to think that there is a hierarchy where certain friends are more important than others and they display this quite a lot in just certain things that they'll say or snide remarks or now nah, i don't want to do this with you but i could do this with them or whatever whatever and for me that is very unsettling Ask because they're my friends too as much as they're not friends with you but they are my friends you know what I'm saying? So I think it's a very touchy one, that one. I do agree at its core that her, my friends are not your friends. What, what, you are, com you are brought together by me. That I agree with. But I think that we also need to have the difficult conversations of friends who feel entitled to you. Just because they are friends with you, they expect that you will treat them differently or spend more time with them or whatever whatever than you do with your other friends which is problematic that for me is problematic behavior some friendships are only for a season no bad blood absolutely what what else must we say the why what how oh i say leave them for god man we were meant to be friends okay I was your friend then, I'm not your friend now. It be like that sometimes. Hey man, bring up over, it just is what it is. Some friends are for a lifetime, some are for a season. And that, my darling, is fine. You don't have to inherit your friend's beef. You only have one side. Absolutely. If two of your mates are fighting, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. And uh, here's the thing about me. They can be fighting like this. I don't want to know what they're fighting about. I don't want to meet with this one and then sit and have a conversation with this one. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then, all right, shoo. And then Prudence comes to me in confidence. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. How about Prudence? What? I don't want to be there. I'm just tired. I don't want to be there. Yeah, understand? If you can fix it, you can fix it. If you can't fix it, you can't fix it. The only thing that you are going to tell me is that, Katleo, when you're with Dineo, if Prudence says to me, Katleo, when you're with Dineo, please don't invite me. I think for now things are a little bit tricky, so the, please don't, I can respect that. Me, I can respect that. But one thing Dineo or Prudence is, gonna, is not going to do is come at me and say, um... Dineo coming at me and saying, so how's Prudence or fella? What has she been up to? It's none of your business.
As long as you're not talking to her, it's none of your business. I'm not going to sit here and talk about one friend with another friend. It's unacceptable. And this is the one thing that I have a problem with. I'm not going to sit here and inherit your beef. For what? I got my own problems. I've got my own damn problems. And here I'm sitting here inheriting the beef. Bye. Congratulations! Oh, 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 can be close friends even when they don't see or speak to each other on a daily. Absolutely. Absolutely. With how my our lives have become busy with my very good friends, we speak to each other maybe every two, three days. Like we have a group where we touch base with each other. Hey, hey, then it's jokes, then it's memes. Sharp, Nikren. Okay, sharp. And then if I can tell that I'm man, I haven't spoken to Mbali in like five days, I call her. Or if I haven't spoken to Alkin, whatever, I call them. Then I'm just like, yo, bro, you good? You whatever, you whatever. And they reciprocate the same behavior. This is very important. You need to reciprocate the same behavior. Or else why are we friends? Yup. But it's okay. Like you don't have to be speaking to them on an everyday basis. And then all of a sudden you have a journal that you pass through from this friend to this friend so we can catch up on each other's lives like we did in high school. And then, what I must do? Sharp, I can sharp. Okay, sure. Uh, friendships are overrated. Absolutely not. That's your unpopular opinion that I do not. Is very much unpopular and I'm, I can't come to the party there. My friendships are extremely important to me and they form what is life without a friend, my boy? Like, what is life without someone you can go, look up on enjoy, noise, what is life without someone like that in your life? Nah, bro. Now you can catch me several seats outside. I love being friends with my friends. I love my friends. I hold my friends to a very high standard and vice versa. And no, my friendships can never be overrated because my friendships fuel me. I can never see friendship as something that's overrated. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Quality over quantity. Oh, definitely. That's not even an unpopular opinion. I feel like that is a popular one. Most people want quality in people over quantity. I ain't trying to have 10,000 friends. Why? <clears throat> and let's not lie. When you're not my friend, you're not my friend. I'm not going to refer to you as my friend. I can sit here and refer to someone I've only met once or whatever as my friend. And someone I speak to every blue moon as my friend. No, you're an acquaintance. We know of each other. I know you. You know me. We've spent some time in a common place, yes, but you're not my friend. <laughs> I'd be lying if I say that. A friend is someone I talk to regularly. A friend is someone I meet up with and we do lunch and whatever. Like, if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll see... I've been, I met up with Paolo last week. She's my friend. She's my friend. These are people that I talk to regularly. I am finna... Why? You Luna, Jo, Luna, I got to assume the roles. Some people love to assume roles, especially friends. Certain people, right? They love to assume a certain role like I'm her friend. I'm your best friend. Nobody knows you better than I do. Really? Stop it. Stop it. Um, not telling your friends anything is weird. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, because the whole purpose of having a friend, I agree with that unpopular opinion. Because the whole purpose of having a friend is because Sia Shale, Sia Kuruma. Yeah, man, we talk about the Chwala, we talk about the Mali, we talk about Abantu, we talk about uh, uh, men, women, we talk about fun, we talk, we're constantly talking, we talk about family stresses, we talk about relationship stresses, okay. Relationship one, mm, not as much, not as much. I will typically leave that to one friend where I'll have a regular conversation with them about not even everything that's happening in my relationship, but if there's something that really sit off or we had a fight or whatever I'll, I'll tell my friend not detail about the fight but just tell them oh you yeah 
Hey, 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 much younger girls. Oh, Asana. How does he know? Even the pants. Even my. Even. Yo. You know. Even the pants. They're going. But that will be like reserved to one friend. But all your other friends. Uh oh. Hey, you. We talk. I talk. And that's the point. So if you don't tell your friends anything, you're weird. You're giving off weird. You're giving off. You don't know what friendship is. You're giving off. Forget about it. Why do you even have friends? Why do you even call them your friends? You're giving off Wednesday, you know? But even Wednesday even got a friend at some point. We're too old for group leaders in friendship groups. Hello? <laughs> Preach the gospel. This is what I was saying earlier on. Guti, prefect. Eh, who prefect? But I'm a kid school, kid is kid, kid, mere, mere scholars, mere pupils. When I'm prefect, when I'm head girl of the friendship group, when are you the Beyonce of the group? Why? I refuse to nag life and then nag a person. It couldn't be me. Why? Ain't no Michelle, ain't no Kelly, ain't no Beyonce. Nah, more than anything, we all Beyonce. We all Beyonce of our own group, of our own lives. I'm a Beyonce in my group. You a Beyonce in our group. You a Beyonce in my group. Why? Why can't we get to Beyonce and then we're not little, 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 little randoms? The Kellys and the what what? No. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Hi. One. Um, Another thing, no need to block us from seeing your status just because you hung out with the other friends instead of me. Sibadala, we make choices that suit us and that was suiting you at the time. Why tiptoe batong? Are there people who do that? Ah. your go as far as uplokumuntu. From seeing your status just because they hung out with another one of your What? I don't have the time nor the energy, chat. I wait to rest, 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 rest before to rest, rest, rest. I am posting it. I'm posting it on Twitter. I'm posting it on a Facebook. I'm posting it on an Instagram. I'm posting it everywhere. Why am I worried? Uh, what is going on? Why should I. Uh, <laughs> 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 Y'all's friendships are weird, okay? They're so fake and full of hatred sometimes, yeah, when you don't know how to pick the right friend. Because somebody who's gonna be fake and full of hatred, you're gonna see them first. Ibala, vula mesho. Umund or fake and or full of e hatred, you're going to see them fast. It's going to be a quick fast thing, that thing. Because you'll see who's name man. Name man. Every time she's got something negative to say about my man. She's got something negative to say about my job. She's got something negative to say about the way I'm dressed. She's got something negative to say every single time. Particularly. I refuse to nag life and then nag a person. It couldn't be me. But it suit. Vertically, anything, even if you might try and switch it around and say nice things about her and compliment her and whatever, whatever. A fake friend is a friend that can never, they'll never give you a compliment. They'll be like, oh my god, friend, you look so nice, but maybe you should change the top instead of like a white one, make it green, you know? And you can see in the face of Usile here, when Nuri. Ukwele ugu sa o sila unal unal ho sa yai ba? Yo ba fake ba fake ba fake and then they go out and then they laugh with you they laugh with you. Next thing she's in your man's DMs. What is this, girl? Banyana. Oh, Shalifa. Banyana. 
You don't need friends. A man can be an island. I'm sorry. As a black person who grows up in a community, in a very community-based as environment, uh, 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 I can't. I can't go along with the phrase. Uh, a man can be an island. I can't. I grew up in a community. I grew up with a community of people. I grew up with a community of of people around me, friends, this family members. I can't. I can't just simply agree to the fact that a man can be an island. No, I practice Ubuntu. Yeah, I practice Ubuntu. Do you know it? Uh, or Ubuntu? Yes, I practice Ubuntu. So I, I, I can't relate. That's a girls that say I don't have female friends because girls are dramatic are the dramatic ones. Ah, ah. Today I'm gonna make cock. In other words, I'm gonna make shut the Wait! Hey. <laughs> I'm actually inclined to believe that you're right. <laughs> because the thing is I, I have female friends, not many. But even throughout, I'd have one or two, three female friends, and then mostly it would be guys. But if she doesn't have female friends at all, yeah, yeah, according to her off. <laughs> no, according to her off, according to her nuga snacks, yeah, but and a buyer to her mom, na ling musi, na ling mul, ukila but unan twen kang. Yeah, you understand? I'm, I, I'm inclined to agree. I've got mostly girl friends because girls are so dramatic. Really? Maybe girls don't like your ass. Maybe every single time you didn't try to be friends with a girl, the girl saw you for who's you is. And they were just like, no ma'am, not me, not, not today. Not today, catch me several seats outside, bye. <laughs> Label it to avoid disappointment and situations. Absolutely. And Jehovah, you go as far as labeling Mjolo. What is this? What are we having? What is going on here? Label your friendship. If somebody is your friend, it's your friend. And stop throwing. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, friend. Have you seen our influencers? Are? Hey, friend. Oh, but you're friend. You're so, oh, thanks, friend. Oh, whatever. That person ain't your friend. They. <laughs> Are your colleague you see them every time you are at work for an event you don't meet up with that person randomly on a Saturday or a Sunday or go partying with them or whatever but Libby Z on the socials oh my god friend you look so cute is she your friend really is she does a friend know where you live because a real friend knows where you live a real friend knows where you live Unless it's the beginning stages of your friendship, then it's fine. But a real friend knows where you live. So, hey, friend. Oh, my God, you look so cute. Oh, my God, you look so cute. Oh. <coughs> Please, man. <laughs> Spare us. Spare us the fakeness, the fakery. Why do we have to dress the same? Banyana King at this big age. Dress the same? Hey, give my tweets. <laughs> this is all I got. <laughs> Man, even twins don't dress the same. Twins go out of their way when they get older to dress differently because I ain't trying to look like my sister. I ain't trying to look like my brother. Our parents did that enough when we were growing up. Now I'm going to go and continue this nonsense. This year, nonsense. No. No, no. No, ma'am. No. Just because we're friends, it doesn't mean you're entitled to the details of my life. I know that's right. We said this. We said this. We said this. Just because we're friends doesn't mean we have to do everything together. Facts. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah, no, I'm going to go cut my hair. Oh, friend, let me go to Lena. I want to cut my hair. Okay, I'm going to go cut my hair and dye platinum blood. Oh, friend, Lena, I think it would look nice. Really nice. Yeah, no. People who can easily dispose of their friends are actual red flags. Yes, because friendships are very important. Real ones. The real ones are very important. You will fight. There will be a whole entire guri in your friendship. They will be on off. They will be, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay? I need some space. 
okay? I need this, this, this. You go also hunt that too. One good or get it. Then you're shouting at each other because because that's what happens in real friendships. There's much disagreements, much like in relationships. If when all your friends are constantly happy, le chapeau, there's never any disagreement where you're like, you know what, I didn't like what you said, or I didn't feel okay with what you said there, or this, that, and the other, or whatever, whatever. And when I feel like, no, it's fine. Couldn't do it off. You're just gonna be like, you know, I can't do this anymore. Kikupa uto no, whatever, whatever. That's it, I'm done. Ah! Then you're blocking and you are, ah, somebody you've known for years. Ah, eh, we're not silly, we're not, we're not silly, we're not silly. Yo, ha, yo, uh, uh, yo, you can find soulmates and friends too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Soulmates are not just in lovers, my darling. My doll, they're not just in lovers. Absolutely not. Your friends' friends are not your friends. We spoke about that. Neither are your partners. We spoke about that. No, we didn't, but we're speaking about it right now. Your partner is not your friend's friend. Yandif, Yandif, your partner is not your friend. Say it with me now. Your partner is not your friend's friend. More than anything, your partner shouldn't even have your friend's number. They shouldn't have a nothing. A nothing. Do you understand? A nothing. They shouldn't. Why? 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 Do you not have a sibling? Do you not have a brother? Do you not have a sister? Why does your partner have access to your friend's number and vice versa? Which I'm so busy, most of the time the status. Tamu tua how? No, guys, honestly. Pe, pu, pu, pe, pu, pu, pe, pe. It could never be me. It's possible to keep on falling more in love with your friends as you do in a romantic. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you can start off with friends, but then, then you get deeper, you know, then you get deeper, then you have really deep conversations, then you have memories that you can just, both of you will never forget, and you fall in love with them. Absolutely. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I will not inherit your beef with someone else. There we go. We spoke about that. Um, colleagues, acquaintances, neighbors, hairdressers, barbers, and friends. I have a bone to pick. I genuinely feel like my nail lady, my nail lady, my nail lady, Buns. Buns is my friend. And the lady who does my brows, Kanye, Kanye is my friend. But Kanye and I meet up and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe she is my friend. But Buns, Buns is my friend. Buns knows my stuff. Um, if they don't buy you a birthday gift, it's okay not to buy them too. I can't be the only one getting a gift all the time. I... Huh. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> If they don't buy you, uh, no, 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 no. If they don't buy you a gift, why must you go out of your way? You can do it the first time. Then they don't buy you anything for your birthday. That was fun. Maybe, you know, it was a tough month. Maybe we go tricky. Maybe the expenses that month were a bit tricky. But, you know, they can always leave it to the end of the month. But what is that, honey? But that is just me and my friends, okay? I don't know how y'all do it in your French circles. But you can leave it to the end of the month, it's fine. But if they can't even do that, my darling, and the following year comes and you buy them a gift, and then your birthday comes around and they don't buy... Cut it. Cut it. Hey, hey. things are very, 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 very expensive in life. Please. Their sense of entitlement, regardless of how you explain yourself, they can drain your soul. Honestly. Honestly, like there are friends where you feel like, man, I'm trying. Are you listening to me? Are you really hearing what I'm saying? And you know, for me, when someone always has a response, you cannot ever dictate how you hurt someone. It's none of your business. You have no, the only hand that you had in that is what you said or what you did to hurt them. How they respond to it 
None of your business. That has nothing to do with you. That is something you do not have control over. So don't even attempt or even try. This is the last one, guys. Don't even attempt or even try to understand or try and explain your way out of it. No, but I was doing this. Shush. Maybe just for a second. Tula, bring up over and actually listen to how this made me feel. To how I felt entitled, oh, how I felt entitled. To how I felt hurt by what you've just said. To how I felt this way by what you've just said. Listen to me, Bova. Don't just immediately be like, no, but now it's trying to do this. No, but now it's trying to do this. Then you're not listening. But that it's me, my darlings. That it's me. Thank you so very much for joining this version of Unpopular Opinions. Thank you so much. As always, I always say thank you very, very much for choosing me over and over again. I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy filming them for you. I am going to take a break for the rest of the day. Good sis is done. Good sis was doing the most. It's time for me to go and I've got a guest at my gate. So.